We are bombarded 24 hours a day with the doctrine, with the religious texts of this religion, the advertisements, buy this, buy that, have this, have that. Yet, many of them are depressed and they are committing suicide. 14 year old girl hangs herself. Why? Because it seems her mother wouldn't let her watch TV. This is the curse of the consumer society. It is a curse. Christmas is like the main thing where families get together. They didn't even invite their own mum, their own dad for the Christmas celebrations. They didn't even bother to visit them, not even sometimes even to give them a phone call. But you know what? This is beginning to happen to Muslims, to Hindus, to Sikhs. It's beginning to happen right here in India. I am sure you will see it as people become more and more obsessed with materialism. When we bring our children up with the philosophy, work, work, money, money, work, work, money, money. Okay, you teach them work, work, money, money. You think they're going to care about you? Why will they care about you when you're old? Why will they care about you when you're reaching an old age? You taught them work, work, money, money, work, work, money, money. Not Ami Abu, money, money. Why will they think about you when you get old? Because all they have in their mind is money, enjoyment, fun. Let me enjoy the life. And this is what we find. You see, the consumer materialistic society has another problem. And the other problem it has, it is going to destroy itself. It has to. It's inevitable. I challenge any of you to pick up books of history and read them and study them. It is the same again and again and again and again. The history is always repeating itself. The lesson of history is the same lesson you will always find when a civilization becomes powerful, it becomes rich, it becomes wealthy, and it becomes obsessed with wealth and materialism, and the morals begin to decline, and the people no longer, they care about right and wrong, they only care about enjoying themselves. Then you will see it is only a matter of time, and not a long time, a short time, before that society will collapse. It will collapse because society, what is society? It's when human beings live together, cooperate together, try to achieve something together. We work together in order to reach some benefits. But if it is every man for himself and all I care about is me and myself and enjoying myself, then doesn't this contradict the whole idea of society? So what you find happening is the children no longer care about the parents. The people who are disenfranchised, what we mean here is the people who are poor, the people who don't benefit from all of this wealth, because you will always find there are some people who are left out. But they are still exposed to the same advertisements, to the same TV commercials, to the same ideas, they are still exposed to those things. So they are thinking, yes, I need money, I need wealth. How can I be happy if I don't have these things? Now, if they don't get them by earning, if they can't get them by earning the money, what do you think they will do? Huh? They will steal. They will steal in order to get it. They will rob people if they have to get it. And this is certainly what is happening in the United States of America, that's what's happening there. People kill each other. Kids, they will kill someone. They will kill someone for the trainers because he's got a pair of Nike trainers. He's ready to kill and take the life of another human being for a wristwatch. And it's not just to do with the fact that he's got a drug habit. No, it's to do with his mentality. 